Angel blessings to you. It's me, Julie Robinson, coming to you again for the second attempt to do a Facebook Live. I'm just going to go to the Joy and Vitality Facebook page right now to just check and see if this is actually working before I can. Perfect. Okay, we are back. Mercury retrograde, sound difficulties. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with your weekly Oracle card reading using the spiritual principle angel Oracle cards. And then I'm going to do some live readings. We are going to try it again because I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to allow a difficulty to pull me away from my place of peace. So let's get in to the Oracle card for this weekend. The card I pulled for you guys was decoy incentives. I'm just going to pull that up. I actually removed it from uh, my vision. So let's pull this back up. So decoy incentives means to rise above the three things that pull us away from spirit. And they are attraction, aversion, and indifference. Now, as we head into tomorrow, July the 4th, that day ends on a lunar eclipse in Capricorn. And this is really a time of shift. And the angels have picked up uh, that, that there's a lot of energy right now around moving and transcending past old patterns of behavior and unhealthy tendencies. And really, um, what we're saying here for this weekend is stay in a place of rest and not to allow those three things to move us away from spirit, to move us away from peace. Okay, I can feel people's anxiety. It's okay that there was a technical difficulty. It's not important. I know that some of you think it's important. It's not important. It's not important that you couldn't hear me. It happened, it's unfortunate, but it's not important. And this is where we become pulled away from our rest is we place a lot of importance on things that don't matter. And the angels are asking you to take a step back and go, what is it that I'm in resistance to right now? When it comes to um, attraction, aversion, and indifference, the only way that those three things can move us out of rest is if we're wanting them to be different than the way that they are. So for example, if somebody wants to pick a fight with me, that would be an example of aversion, where someone is wanting me to, to or somebody is wanting to move me out of my place of rest. And if I react to them and I get pulled into the drama, I'm leaving my place of peace. I'm leaving myself because I believe that I can change that situation that if I react in this way, I will change him or her, but I cannot. There has never been a time where my reactivity has changed another person. They may have had a reaction to my reaction, but we can't actually change other people. The way the angels are saying to respond today, tomorrow, and su Sunday afternoon is sort of when we move into a different energy they're showing me. But the way to handle this weekend is to stay at peace and not get caught up in drama. Decoy the incentive to want to change. We get a little bit of a high or a little bit of a kick off of, oh, if I do this, you know, then I'm going to change. You know, um, yeah. So, Really, I think the theme here is stay in a place of peace. Don't allow yourself to become, you know, pulled into drama and that sort of thing. Um, just stay in a place of peace. Okay. Kathleen can hear me. Good. Good. I'm glad. Marcia says she'd love a message. Yes. Is it ever going to happen? Marcia, you'll have to tell me more. Pranisha would love a message. Pranisha, you did try to get into the studio. I'll be releasing that link soon. Same with you, Kathleen. Thanks so much for your patience. So that's the theme for this weekend. 
So let's release the link um, in a little bit. And then what we're going to do is move into next Monday. Um, so like I said, the energy is actually going to shift um, Sunday afternoon. And what's going to be very important is asserting boundaries. Where's the boundaries card? I picked them out of the studio when I was trying to fix everything. So give me a moment, please. I can feel people's anxiety. Why are you guys anxious today? Take a moment and tune in and ask yourself, why am I anxious? What am I resisting right now? And what messages from my angels have I heard that I'm resisting and not saying yes to? Take a moment as I find this card. Here we go. I found it. Okay. So. Sunday afternoon, staying in this place of peace, not being drawn in by the drama of other people's, we move into setting personal boundaries. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have internal boundaries. So there's internal boundaries and there are external boundaries. So the internal boundary might be, I'm not going to allow other people to pull me out of rest, or it might be... Um, I'm not going to engage in that difficulty, but they showed me Monday as bright yellow, which is a huge day for issues of power and control. Now the angels showed me that the energy momentum moving into this weekend is a huge power shift. So we're shifting power and Monday there's a power struggle where it looks like someone else, it looks like somebody at work is challenging you and your personal boundaries. And the angels are showing me that it's very important that you stay in a place of peace, that you stay in a place of place of rest. And that from that place of peace, you just simply say a high vibrational no. You just say, no, I'm sorry, that's not possible. This is what I am willing to do. And this is what I'm not willing to do. And it's, it's like a high vibrational no. So we're not doing it from negativity. We're not moving from arrogance. It's simply expressing our personal boundaries. Okay. So that's really important on Monday. It looks like Tuesday, there might still be that energy of boundaries where we might get retested. Again, going back to decoying incentives is not, do not react. Reacting simply means to act out how that person is treating you. We don't want to reenact their energy because what that's going to do is strengthen their negativity. It's going to strengthen their energy. So we stay in a place of unconditional love. Now, if you notice this card on the bottom, right, these cards go together. This is the turquoise blue energy that connects us to the higher heart chakra. The higher heart chakra is all about unconditional love. And when we don't allow ourselves to be moved by external circumstances, by incentives, the incentive to change and move, we are loving ourselves because love means to stay with. So again, Tuesday, try to transcend negativity and by setting our personal boundaries. That's going to be really, really important. Now, how do we know what our boundaries are? Well, the way that we know what our boundaries are is we have to know how we feel. Have you guys been feeling a little bit resentful lately? If you've been feeling resentful lately, this might be a sign that your boundaries have been violated or you're feeling super drained. So my suggestion would be take some time to just chill and just relax and go, what is it that I need? Do I need rest? Do I need water? Am I hungry? Am I tired? Meet those needs yourself. And then through rest, you're going to find out what your boundaries are. This is what the Archangel Sandalfin is showing me. Now, um, Monday, Tuesday is setting boundaries. By Wednesday, he's showing me you will have personal victory. Now, what is victory? Victory is really success, which the angel show me comes from really being in a place of a victory within yourself. So when now victory comes from speech, 
how we conduct ourselves, how we show up in the world. And, and in our vision, we see people with eyes of love, with eyes of compassion, and in our ability to forgive, which opens up the crown chakra so that we can hear our angel messages and, and hear the divine really a lot better. So, so by Wednesday, because we've stayed in a place of peace, because we've set our boundaries, victory is ours. We've respected ourselves. We're showing up truthfully with integrity with people. We are seeing with eyes of love. We're listening to our clairvoyance, right? That clear vision, all things are possible. So we have victory on the inside, right? We're operating well inside. We have victory on the outside. So yes, you might get promoted this week. Promotions are in the works. Uh, recognition is coming up on Wednesday and Thursday, even on Friday. And this is because you have listen to your boundaries, you've stayed in spirit. And as a result, victory is yours. This is very important for next Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So that's your weekly Oracle card reading. I'm soon going to be releasing the link for those of you who want to join me in the studio. If you would like to know more about victory, how to obtain it in the physical world, get my book, Everyday Angel Miracles, Volume 1. In it, I talk a lot about the principle of victory. I also share the angels that are associated with victory. So if you have a blocked third eye chakra, for example, because you have a fear of seeing the truth, there's an angel that corresponds to the third eye chakra in this book that will help you to have increased clairvoyance to help you to see the truth. And I go through all the chakras and how to unblock them and which angels. So that's available now on Amazon.com. And if you liked the Oracle cards, they're available for sale on Etsy.com and JulieSpiritualHealer.com. Last announcement for today about my products is a new book that's coming out at the end of July. It's called The Four Angel Secrets to Manifesting Miracles. Now, this is an excellent book of stories of how these four secrets that I haven't written about in any other book can help you draw in miracles in your lives. And I've had clients that I worked with for over uh, many years who applied these principles into their lives and achieved and attracted miracles. So I've written about those. So that's really exciting. I'm going to now release the link. Um, and I want to talk about my night with spirit coming up on September 18th. So that's coming up. Um, it's going to be a zoom, a zoom session. And uh, I'm going to send the link in now. If you'd like to get a ticket to my night afternoon with spirit, you can go to juliespiritualhealer.com forward slash events. I feel like I get distracted when I, when I, when I distract myself and I'm not focused on just doing one thing, I distract myself. So let me re-say that message in a more concentrated way. On September 18th, there's going to be an afternoon with spirit. It's going to be on Zoom because of social distancing. Usually the numbers are quite high. Um, I say Night with Spirit because for years we've run the Night with Spirit at Joy and Vitality Center. And, you know, if if things move into stage three and four and we're able to have it at the center, we will. Um, but right now we are following um, the government protocols. We're following everything the way it needs to be for social distancing. So for now, it's it's set to be on Zoom. And in an afternoon with spirit, you can expect to receive group reading type of messages. We'll be reading everybody in the group, giving everybody uh, some messages. So that's really exciting. Now, if you go to juliespiritualhealer.com under my events page, you can get your ticket for that right now. Okay, so let's see um, who wants. So lots of messages here. Marsha LaForce, I would love a message today in answer to, is it ever going to happen? Not sure what it is. And I'm just going to look to see, um, and Lindsay would like a reading. So I'm just going to send everybody the link to the studio now to see if, oh, on moving. Let's see if Marsha wants to join me in the studio. Patty says she can hear us now. Good. Thanks, Patty. Nice to see you. Kim, please wish my son well. A solution come today. Okay, I'm sending you love, Kim. Nice to see you. Yep, you're in my thoughts and prayers. Absolutely, I'm sending Archangel Michael and Raguel, the angel of justice, your way for your court date. 
Yes. Kathleen says great messages for this coming week and all intense energies. Yeah. There's some really intense energies. Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is try to, and Pranisha. Okay. So Pranisha would like a message. So I've sent out the be live link. If you see it under comments, oh, wow. There's already 19 comments there. Um, I've sent out the link and hopefully you guys can, can see that now. Uh, make sure you're using Safari. Okay. Marsha can't get into the studio. So what I'm going to suggest is I'm just going to do a, a comment reading. So is a move going to happen? Yes. I hear in the month of November, Marsha, there is a move happening for you. Um, so they're highlighting that month for me. They're saying everything is going to happen naturally. The angels are looking after you and there's a divine timing at work here. So, so November is coming through for you. Okay. Let's go and see who else has written this, a question. Pranisha is also struggling to get in. Okay. It is Mercury retrograde. <laughs> okay. So let's give Pranisha a message. Um, Pranisha, you are surrounded by angels and um, there's a lot of energy coming through about your son. So Pranisha, looks like you're doing a lot of work around emotional healing and opening up your heart chakra. As you release old unforgiveness, this is really, really going to help to heal you and um, attract more blessings into your life. Pranisha, there's lots of things that you've been asking for and, and talking to your angels about. Archangel Michael shows me that he's with you and is protecting you and your family. And he wants you to know that freedom is coming and, and miracles are coming and that you are, are guided to have faith because everything that is happening in your life right now is working in your favor. So things are coming. The month of August is going to be a lot better for you. They show me lots of, of, of miracles in that. But sometimes the one thing that can block us from our victory is forgiveness. I, I, I talked about this earlier. When we forgive, we open up the crown and that connects us to the divine. We hear God and the angels better. And, and there's some unforgiveness and old anger and old resentment that if you would just release it, that you would, you're, it would speed up the process of your wishes coming true. So, yeah, um, I know it's not always, it's not always easy to do. I'm just going to pray for you. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you. Um, thank you so much for protecting Pranisha. And, um, Please help her with forgiveness. Please help her to release any old anger or any unforgiveness um, that is no longer serving her highest good. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, you're welcome, Pranisha. I trust those messages will help you. God bless you. Okay, let's go now to Alan, who's saying he definitely feels the energy. Um. Yeah, there has been lots of, he's saying that he's felt like euphoria to frustration, to fear and guilt and shame. It's been crazy. How do I ride this out and benefit from it? Okay, well, guilt and shame are actually really important emotions to pay attention to. I wouldn't say riding it out, Alan, is really, I know what you mean, though. You just want to know, like, how to get through it. Um, but what I would, what I would suggest that you do actually is, sorry, I said to crack my back. Um, <laughs> what I would suggest that you do is allow yourself to investigate why you feel guilty, why you feel shame and, and recognize that you haven't done anything wrong, that sometimes we feel guilty because we hold ourselves accountable or responsible for things. Um, because we're people pleasers and people pleaser is sort of the word that Archangel Michael is using around you. And there's nothing wrong with pleasing other people, but it's when you derive your, your self-esteem from it is when it can become like an addiction and addictions are all rooted in feelings of guilt 
and shame. Sorry, my lips are so dry. It's like birds. It's like a lipstick, but it's like a, a chapstick. So forgive yourself. You haven't done anything wrong. And know that shame comes from not dealing your pain. There's a little bit of old pain there connected to your dad. Alan, my suggestion would be take a look at that. Call in Archangel Zadkiel, the angel of forgiveness and transmutation, and, and really have him come to you and just release any guilt or pain to him. And, and even do a little bit of crying, to be honest with you, is what they're saying. Also do lots of stretching right now, you guys. Because we're processing so much energy, we hold that energy in our physical bodies. And Alan, this is a message for you and, and, and everyone as well. When we stretch, we allow that energy to move through us so much more easily. And you will actually feel the emotion. Because Eckhart Tolle was talking about this yesterday. He was saying, when I posted this in the Angel Heart Practitioner Group, is when you don't feel the energy, you're reacting out of that energy, right? When you don't feel your emotions, you become the emotions. And when you feel guilty, you become a people pleaser. So rather than just not processing the emotions and going into like an addictive pattern, what they're showing me is you need to go back and actually feel the emotions consciously. So without doing other things, just be totally present with those emotions coming up and you will move through them so much more quickly. The other thing that's huge in you, um, Alan, the Archangel Michael shows me is resistance. So resistance, whenever we're resisting an injury or an illness, we actually make it last so much longer. But if we say yes to it, if we say, yes, I'm feeling this pain, yes, I'm feeling this way, then we move through that so much more quickly. So really, really important that that you allow that emotion to be there, Ellen, and to investigate it with all you've got. Uh, that is my message for you. I really hope that that helps you. Okay. I'm going to be answering some more chat questions in just a minute, but now I'm actually going to go to Marsha. Hi, how are you? Okay, let's just check your sound. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's Hi. nice to see your face. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Yeah, I just had a lot of questions around, I guess, soulmate moving, what's going to happen with that kind of stuff. So what's happening with my love life? <laughs> okay. Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they did show me that November would be very... Um, would be very auspicious for that move. Um, they showed me that you are surrounded by angels and that there's a, a lot of divine timing at work. So I don't see you moving until then. Okay. Um, I want to write down your birthday if I can. I know I'm sure you've given, given it to me before, but when I get your birthday, then I just get like additional energy and information. Okay, so it's August 7th. And the year? 75. And is that your anxiety that I'm feeling? Are you at work? Your Yeah, well, yeah, I'm working from home. <laughs> kind, of, okay. kind of working from home at the same time here. Okay, let's take a look at your love life and see what wants to come through. And do you have kids? Yep, I do. Two. Do you have a little boy? No, I don't. Two girls? Yeah. Okay. The reason I asked you if you had a little boy is when I wrote down your birthday, there's a lot of male energy around it, which mm -hmm. is my symbol for... Okay, this isn't my symbol. What I'm seeing, the male energy that I'm seeing in your birthday, it's becoming very clear to me that that's your energy. At hmm. first I thought, is this like your son's energy? Because it, it's so much in you, like it's it's all around you. But as I tune into it much more carefully, 
I'm becoming very clear that you have an imbalance of masculine energy happening and that that's in fact what they are showing me. So, okay. yeah, do you get the weekly oracle card reading? Yeah, and mine was uh, to ask Jophiel to balance the feminine and ma masculine energy. Right. Yeah, yeah, everybody got that message this week. But that message is for you, huge. Because you have an imbalance of masculine energy. I think as a single mom, because I know I've been a single mom for many years as well, is that we get into that masculine energy so much to make things happen mm -hmm. because it's us it depends on us to get up and get stuff done when we're living alone yeah, yeah. i really i really understand that but when we're looking to manifest love or making our current love relationship work it's we have to make this this drastic shift which for those of us who are single moms can feel very uncomfortable it's a very uncomfortable feeling because um, our response is to take care of stuff, to be the generous one, to, to make stuff happen. When we're dealing with men, we have to kind of be more receptive, say thank you, and allow that receptive energy is, is really an allowing energy. So, so I feel that as you say thank you more, as you allow yourself to receive more and, and breathe more, that that's going to create more of an opportunity. So now that we're talking about it, the month of August just popped up, not just because it's your birthday, but as being very good for love. If you can continue to breathe and stay in a, in a state of receptivity, they show me August will be, they show me a guy coming into your life with dark brown hair. Now, I pulled two love cards for you upside down, which means these areas are an area of imbalance and that their spot the good news is there's something that you can do about it so they showed me i'm going to turn them right side up the first card is healing family issues and i feel like could this be your father your the father of your children where you have issues with oh god yeah <laughs> yeah because this is really a block to your love life the energy around your baby daddy is there's a lot of dark there's a lot of black energy which is my symbol for toxic energy mm -hmm. um do you feel like you're hovering over him no okay when he's with the kids do you think about him the whole time and what's happening um i think about my children mm -hmm. is it out of concern or worry yeah out of concern yeah. Oh boy. What it feels like is that there is a lot of darkness surrounding your baby daddy. I don't know whether he struggles with depression or he just has a bad vibe. It's the bad vibe. <laughs> I don't know. The I bad don't vibe. talk to him anymore. So he could be struggling with, with depression too. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Because the reason why I'm asking you this is the image they showed me was of your baby daddy with your two kids and surrounded by darkness. And the only light that allowed me to see this was the light of you kind of looking over them. Mm -hmm. And I just, what I'm hearing them say is there are problems. There are challenges here that need to get mm -hmm. resolved. Um, and when you resolve them, both in yourself and and with your baby daddy, then I don't know what else to call him. <laughs> uh, I know what to call that, him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on the Joy and Vitality Center Facebook page, so we can't say it. <laughs> um, but as you kind of heal those issues, I really feel like that's going to heal your love life because right now it's acting as the block for you. Um, yeah. And the other thing is finance, finances. So your finances and career are really uh, something that you're working on right now. And I think as you start to feel better about finances and career, that's, that's really going to help your love life. Okay. But yeah, the month of August, I see, I see a guy coming in with dark hair 
And, you know, the, the really beautiful thing that they show me about you, Marsha, is once you're vulnerable, you're very playful, you open right up and you're just, you have this gorgeous energy, which, which I see this guy in August is really, really going to love. So in the month when you meet him, just really focus on staying open, staying vulnerable, and, and definitely don't bring any of those old fears about how your ex showed up onto this new new guy. The, this new guy's energy is very innocent in comparison. He's very sweet. He's a very good guy. Just make sure you don't make him pay, right? But sometimes when we're hurt, we can kind of have some walls come up. Just make sure you, that you don't allow that to happen. Okay. So the existing yeah. relationship that I'm in, you don't see me in? You see me with a new person? I do. I do see you with a new person. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. What's the name of the guy that you're with now? Justin. Yeah. I definitely see you with a new person. Okay. Do you know what his initial starts with? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They're okay. not giving me any initials. They just showed me somebody with brown hair, really nice energy. Yeah. What about my uh, my oldest daughter? Do you have anything to say about her at all? I've been concerned about her a lot. I do. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give you one more message. <laughs> this is supposed to be one message per person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> And we, we've already done like your move and your love life. So I'm going to save the stuff around your daughter for another day and just give everybody else a chance. Cause it's like 1207. I've been reading for an hour so, just to be fair to everybody. Sorry. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Nice seeing you. But join us next week. Your face. Thanks. I you will, too. For sure. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Um, let's do one more reading. Maybe that's, I just realized I've been reading for an hour, which is kind of a long time. Let me just reload. Kind of exciting that when I reload and refresh the page, uh, I see everybody's comments, which is really exciting. Okay, so. Sandra Hordos would love a reading, thank you. Just to, just to be clear, I'm giving messages today. I'm not, not doing a whole, I know that I'm not doing a whole reading. I'm just, I'm just doing messages. If you guys would like to book a private reading, I do 20 minute readings, 30 minute readings, one hour readings. I do them virtually. So you can do them on Zoom or you can come into the center at Joy and Vitality Center and, and come in and have a salt room session. Um, and uh, by the way, I really am guided to share this with you. So Eugenia has offered something just so generous that I'm just like, I feel embarrassed uh, offering this to you guys because it's just so generous. Not embarrassed isn't the world. I just feel, I don't know what the right word is. I just, I, I just, she's so loving that sometimes it makes me kind of blush. Do you know what I mean? When somebody is so good to you, you're just like, oh my God, it's not embarrassed isn't the word. It's just, it's like overwhelmed with goodness. Anyways, so. You know how she has the salt room special for $19.99? Um, well, she actually offered my clients uh, the salt room at $15.99. So if you're, but that's if you're getting a reading with me. So if we have a reading scheduled um, and you want to have the halogen therapy um, in the salt room during our session, so you're basically getting a reading and the halogen therapy, you just have to add $15.99. Um, and you can just pay Eugenia when you come in the door. Um, I just think that's really, really generous because halogen therapy is, well, I won't say it's really expensive to run, but it is. Anyways, super, super nice. I just wanted to mention that right now. Okay, so Sandra. Sandra, you gotta forgive yourself. And there's some pain here connected to your mom that is from a really, really long time ago. Um, the message I'm getting for you really strongly is, in addition to that, 
is it's really important for you to just be yourself. Um, the situations in your life are calling you to be authentic, to show up with the truth of who you really are. And this, they show me, is the base of your personal power. When you show up and you're a little bit more authentic, you're really going to shine. Now, this doesn't mean that you're being fake or that you're hiding something. It just means that sometimes you act like things are okay when they aren't. And you're kind of hiding, hiding some stuff. So know the angels can see that. And they know that to bless you, uh, you'd have to show up a little bit more and own it. So I hope that message will be a blessing for you. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome, Alan. Um, Melanie, I was able to access the studio, but I didn't want to interrupt the reading. Okay, let's see if you're there now, Melanie. Can I release the link? See if I can release it again. Okay, Sandra's saying that makes a lot of sense. Good. 39 comments. Amazing, considering we started again <laughs> at 11.30. Melanie Thomas is saying, what should I do? Uh, I pulled like the Empress card for you, Melanie, which is like my symbol for pregnancy and fertility. Um, let's see if I can just send you the link right here and see if you can join us again. Okay, so Melanie, I've sent you the link. 33 comments, you guys. Wow. Okay. So Melanie, I have sent you that link. Pranisha really felt her message. That is good. Okay. Let's see if Melanie is in staging area yet. Not yet. Mono Nietzsche Das. Hi. Can I get a reading? <laughs> is that how you said it, Melanie? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's not how she said it at all. Maybe she said hi. Can I can I get a reading? You just don't know in writing. That's why we always have to stay in a place of stillness inside of ourselves. That's why we got that message for this weekend, you guys. Stay connected to your spirit. And, and one way we can stay connected to our spirit is not make assumptions and, and not take things personally. That's a very important, important message. Hi, can I get a reading? Could be meant in so many different ways. So, Monisha... Let's see what messages want to come through for you. Oh, so travel is coming through for you. Looks like you wanted to go somewhere but couldn't. This perfect timing. You were not meant to go on that trip. Um, you will go on that trip, but and when you go, it will be way better than than when you could have gone. Um, there's a situation with a male figure. I'm not sure if this is your boss or your stepdaughter. It's a, it's a male energy for sure. But there seems to be like good energy here, but there's also a reference to power. This mess, this card I pulled for you is a sign that you actually do have a lot of power and more than you think. So know that the angels want you to remember that. Also, exercise is coming up here for you, Monita. Um, it's a really good way of, of clearing yourself of other people's energy. They said sometimes you get very drained and you actually absorb other people's energy. So make sure that you're getting enough exercise every day. Okay. Oh, you're very welcome, Marsha. Okay, Allison Moser. Uh, would love a message about where my love life is going. Hmm.
I'm like not getting anything. You know, um, Allison, they show me that the guy that you're with is really a gentle soul. And um, he actually is a healer himself. He has really amazing healing powers. I don't feel like it needs to go anywhere. I think that's why they're not showing me anything. I think your love life is already there. I don't think it needs to change. So this goes back to that earlier message of, of not wanting things to be different than the way that they are. Um, I feel like your love life is fine. That's what I'm getting there. Okay, I've sent out this link and I think Melanie is finally here. Let's see. Melanie, are you in bed? And huh? is it the middle of the night where you are? Hi. <laughs> no, no. Hold on a second. Can you see me? There you go. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you're in a very dark room and that you're like in Australia right now and it's nighttime and you're like in your bed hiding from in your room from your parents. <laughs> no, just hanging out where it was nice and cool in the house. Sorry about that. <laughs> Is it hot? Okay. So, um, Melanie, can I start with your birthday, please? 26th of March, 1980s. Oh, well, 26th of March. <laughs> March 26th and what's the year? 87. Okay. And what's your question today? Just pretty much. Is there any messages or a message for me? It's, I don't know. I just said there's quite a lot going on. So there's really no too many questions, just a message. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Archangel Michael is stepping forward and he's saying patience is needed here. Do you understand that? Oh, yes. Yeah. So how do you connect to that? Uh, pretty much a surgery that didn't go very well, and I'm being a bit too stubborn. They did yeah. show me the stubborn part. I didn't see the surgery part, though. Um, do you have a daughter? No, 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 but children would be nice to have, so just... There's a daughter, uh, there's a daughter around you, though. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's this little girl around you that's like, hi, and she looks a lot like you, um, but she has way more attitude. <laughs> so it might a, be. A, what's that? It might be a future daughter, maybe? It is absolutely a future daughter. Yeah. Um, the healing angels also just said you're going to be okay with regards to the surgery. So, um, as you're in recovery, hold that energy of, I am healing, I am getting better. Okay. And um, do you, okay, well then um, I might as well ask the question then. Um, children, patient, when, a few years? Like when, when should I expect having kids maybe? Like, um, you know what? I'm going to just tell you the truth. I think you should just let that go. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I've learned this as a person that whenever I'm worried about when something is going to happen, obviously as a reader, I get dates. And if they come through, I will absolutely give them to you. But patience being your main message today, already seeing the daughter, to me, it felt so inevitable that that is your daughter. And you know, and I know in a lot of African cultures, the baby is not conceived until it's conceived in the mother's mind first. Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do instead is spend some time mentally connecting to this beautiful daughter that you already have. And once you align with she's already there, then she will come into fruition. I think we all need to stop focusing on, Julie, when is this going to happen with this nervous energy that actually pushes manifestation away? I think I'm actually going to stop telling people dates and, <laughs> and start telling people what they need to do to heal because that feels so much better to me. You know, anything in my life that I have done, like my books that came out, but I wrote those books in 2009. And the reason why they, I was able to give birth to them this year is because I stopped 
I stopped pushing it. I stopped forcing it. And I just allowed it to happen when it was meant to happen. And, and that's the same thing with having a kid. Like my daughter was born almost a year after I started thinking about her. Yeah. In order to have things manifest in the visible world, we have to, it, it has to create an energy inside of us. We have to feel it on the inside. We have to allow the miracle to build inside of us. And then we give birth to it. Well, no, I just, the only reason I was asking is because I have, um, I have a medical issue when it comes towards yes. fertility yes, and conceiving it. And that's what I've been going through is all these surgeries. So like that, I could finally, hopefully, you know, conceive, sorry, conceive a child sooner or later. If not, then you know what? It's, it's, it's going to be life. <laughs> so I just, I'm not, I'm not stopping myself from, um, yeah. living it's just i'm at a point where if it happens it happens because i've gone through quite a bit of stuff in the past two years losing mm -hmm. two of the most important people in my life and um yeah it's just yeah <laughs> pretty much i'm i understand i understand if you um are triggered around this because you might have been told or you for some reason have a belief that you can't have children. It's only normal when I say, I see a daughter around you to question that. Mm -hmm. We all have a reason to question the messages that are coming through for us or to believe that something good can happen to me. That's normal. But because the very first thing that I was shown around you after patients was daughter. I feel like these are messages that come together. Your first message was patience. Your second message was daughter. This is Archangel Michael's way of saying, have patience around your daughter. Meaning have patience around the timing of when your daughter is going to be born. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. A, I totally understand. And, and the fact that that would even come out of me Without me knowing, I, I didn't see your medical issue. I didn't scan for it. And, and it, wasn't, it wasn't something I felt like scanning for either. What I felt right away was patience and daughter tells me that your angels absolutely know that you are wanting to have children and that they love you so much that before you had to say it out of your mouth, they came forward and said, have patience around your daughter. This to me means... Melanie, expect a miracle. Sooner or later. With expect a miracle means let go of when. Yeah. Because if you're legitimately struggling with getting pregnant, it doesn't matter when it happens. What matters is that it does. Mm -hmm. And this is why I was saying this morning, we place too much importance on things that don't matter. Yeah. You know, I, I talk to women every day who say, oh, I'm 40, I need to get pregnant now, or I'm 30, I, I haven't met the one, you know, it needs to happen now. Where do these ideas come from, actually? Society? I'm, I'm, who, is, I'm who is society? There's no such thing as society. There's nobody in the world. Donald Trump didn't call you up. Justin Trudeau didn't post on Instagram, you should have kids when you're 30. Where are we getting these ideas from? I guess it's just regular i don't know just the normal that people are having kids in their 20s or before kids, their 30s i don't know i mean people have kids in their 20s women have had kids in their 40s and their 50s i don't know i don't i don't know that it is normal it happens but i don't know that we should place importance on that i mean some people have bought a house some people are you know at a certain age and some people get married at 20 and they get a divorce at 30 and then are single the rest of their lives. I mean, should we be comparing ourselves to other people? No. No, because what does that create in us? Suffering. Oh. It creates Sorry. suffering. It creates suffering in us. We start to suffer. We start to feel like we're not enough. And that goes yeah. back to my message earlier about inadequacy. When we don't feel like we are enough, we don't think the circumstances around us are enough. 
we believe the circumstance has to change. I should heal quicker, deliver this child quicker. Because we're, we're in resistance. We want things to be different than the way that they are. But right now, you're not pregnant. No. Oh, God, no. No. And, and, and that's, and, but that's what is. And as you surrender and go very deep into that, can you accept it? Yeah, I've, I've came to a point in the last few years that I've accepted that if I were to have children, I'm going to have some. If I don't, then I don't. It just, I just want to get better. I, but I mean, your health challenge, can you bring some acceptance around it? Yeah. Because when you can do that, that's very good. Then your health challenge will leave you much quicker. Yeah. So I think your message today is move into a place of acceptance with what is. And... And, and start to lean and flirt with this idea of your daughter and, and start to see who she is. A year before I became pregnant with my daughter, I was into this energy of my daughter. I knew that she would be psychic. I knew she was strong. I knew she would dance and love music. So I started flirting with the energy of her. And that's how it sort of became a seed in me. You understand? So oh, yeah. this is this is what I feel called to share with you today is whatever you're trying to manifest right now, whether it's a child or a new job or or money, is start to flirt with it. What would it feel like on the inside of you if it were born right now? What what would what, what would it feel like if your daughter were with you right now? And really play with that element of manifestation where you you, you almost can hear her. And start to see her in your house. And what kinds of things would she be interested in? That's how you become pregnant. Okay. Whether it's with child or money or a new job. Yeah. Start to feel that inside of you. That's called inner victory. I know that was not the message that you were expecting. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know what? I... I'm pretty open to anything right now just because of the amount of stuff I've been through. So it's, I'm at a point where whatever comes through or what kind of message it is, it's, it was just meant to be that way. And I was just meant yeah. to hear. So like I said, it's just, I've, I've been through so much in the past few years that it's, I take it day by day. And do a lot. Can of I pray for you? <laughs> Yeah. Can I yeah. pray for you? Yeah. I want to say one thing before I pray for you, and that is you were really ready to hear the message today. Yeah. You were really ready to hear it. I can feel something opened in you while we were talking and something, a piece started to emerge. Did you feel that? Yeah, it's something that's been on my mind for that month. Over a month. And when the angels brought it through, this this emerging of your daughter, what did you feel at that exact moment before you started thinking about it? Um, relief. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, I got to be patient and it's, it's, and, and it's understandable. It's, you know, like it's just, it's big relief to know that there was a possibility that I might end up being a mom sooner or later. Not now, <laughs> not yes. this year, but in the future. Yes. And from that place of peace and relief and, and knowing the inevitability that she will be around you one day, that is the space where creation can come through. When we are in turmoil and in anxiety and, 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 and just angst, there's almost no room for creation to come through. So my prayer for you is thank you, God and Archangel Gabriel, that I'm staying in a place of peace and openness so that my divine child can come through. 
And if you can remember that and write it down and put it on your bathroom mirror and say it every day, um, then I believe that that will free you and, and, and help your manifestation. I will. Definitely. Once, uh, once post alive, I'll go back and, re and write it yeah. down. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, that was a lot of reading today. I've been live for an hour and a half. I guess I was meant to because of everything that happened. One thing just led to another. So here I am. Um, I'm going to go now. <laughs> if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at juliespiritualhealer.com or angel counseling or Reiki. Um, you can go to joyinvitalitycenter.ca and uh, you can find more information about me there. I'm wishing you a beautiful day. And, and allow your angels to guide you and, and honor your feelings and listen to them because they could be messages from your angels. Namaste.